In today's video, I want to show you how to unpair your Apple Watch, any Apple Watch, from your existing iPhone and then pairing it again with a brand new iPhone that I have over here. So pretty simple process, but some of the menus here are a little bit confusing. So I'll show you exactly how to do it. The first thing is I'm going to take my new iPhone and I'm going to set it aside because we need to do this on our old iPhone first. Okay, so if you slide from your top of your iPhone here, look for an app called Watch and then open this up right here. This is the Watch app right over here. But in order to unpair your watch, you have to go to this one tab right here, All Watches. This is going to show you any watch that is paired with this iPhone. So only this watch is paired with this iPhone. And I could add even more watches to the same iPhone. But in this case, I want to remove this one so I could pair it with a new phone. I just have to press I right here. And then right on the bottom, it says unpair Apple Watch. That's what I want to press right over here. Then it's going to ask us to back it up first. I'm going to say unpair. Now, since this is part of your Apple accounts, it's going to ask you for your Apple ID password on your phone. So you do have to type that in here. Next, you should see this page. It says unpairing Apple Watch. So you just give this a few minutes here and it's going to go ahead and back this up because we need all the information from the watch to go to our new phone anyway. So this really depends. If you've never backed it up, this may take a little bit of time. Now, it took a few minutes here and this is the page now you should see on your watch which is asking you to now pair it with a new phone. So right now it means they're not paired up. So if I unlock my iPhone, I should get a pop-up asking me to pair it. That's not what I want to do because this is my old phone now. So I'm going to go ahead and set up the old phone on the side. Now I'm going to bring in the brand new iPhone here and we're going to go ahead and set up this watch on this phone now. So all I have to do is I have to unlock this phone. So let me go ahead and unlock this phone. I should get a quick pop up right here. If I don't get it, as long as this is turned on, I just have to press this again and wake up the phone and I should get this pop up. If you don't get the pop up, make sure your Wi-Fi and Bluetooth are turned on. This should be working off the Bluetooth connection here. And right now I have it popping up. So I'm just going to press continue to set these up. Then it's going to bring me to the Apple Watch setup page. I could set it up for myself or for a family member. I'm going to set it up for myself. Then you should get something that shows up on the watch that looks like this little globe right here. And you have to scan it. So you have to pick this up right here and with the camera scan this right here on your phone. Okay, now I want to make sure everything is restored from a backup because this is not a new watch. This is my old watch from my old iPhone. So I'm going to go ahead and restore from backup here. But if you wanted to set it up as a new watch and carry nothing over, you can choose this option. Now, if you have multiple different backups, I have different watches here. So this is the 45 millimeter one. The new one, it says 46 millimeter. This is the 10. This is the nine. I do want to bring it over from the nine. Press continue. I agree to the terms right here. You could share the analytics with Apple for improving their next model. I'm not going to do that here. You need to set up a four digit code to unlock your watch or you could do this later and you could skip it or just skip it all together if you don't want this here. In this case, I'll set it up later. So I'm going to say not now. Then it's going to ask you to change the font size. You can see it's changing here in real time. I'm going to leave it on the default. Confirm. Press OK. Anything that you set up on the health app in your iPhone is going to carry over here. I'm going to continue. Now, if you want to use this for sleep tracking, you can set this up with a schedule. I'm going to skip this since I charge this overnight. This is going to let you know if you're in noisy environments here. So it does measure how much noise you're exposed to. So you could leave this on and it will give you a warning right on your watch. I'm going to press continue there. This is just some of the SOS and safety options that it will be set up by default. You don't have to change anything. Just continue. And then right here, there's that little dial right here that's going to take a few minutes to complete. So as soon as this white goes all the way around, that means they're both paired up. And it's going to ask you right here if you want to get to know your watch and it gives you a bunch of different tips over here. And then when it's done going through this cycle, I'll show you the next page, which will mean our watch has been successfully unpaired from our old iPhone and set up with our new iPhone. OK, the watch is done now. So you should see this on your iPhone. It says welcome to the watch and I'm going to press done over here. OK, inside of the watch app, I should see this page right here. I'm going to go to all watches to make sure everything is set up right here. 
I'm going to press I. And yes, everything is set up. It's asking me to unpair it. Obviously, I just paired it, so I don't need to do that. Now, the next thing you want to do is you want to go to general right here and look for any software updates that are available for your watch. So I do have a software update on mine, so I could go ahead and install this one. And if you want to change the face of your watch, you could always go to the face gallery here. They have a ton of them available over here. I think this is the one I'm using right now. But you could go ahead and look for any of these. And then if you like any of them more, just select it over here and then go ahead and add it. And then if you add it right over here, it's going to add it to your watch face, which will show up right here. And then you could select it from here and then it's going to show you the different views you could have. And then say set it as current watch face and it will replace my existing watch face in a second. OK, there we go. You could also do this on your watch as well. Now, if you want to really dive deep into your Apple Watch, I'm working on a video that I'll link right over here that will show you some of the top settings and some of the top features of your Apple Watch. Thanks for watching this one. I'll see you next time.